I guess my day starts about four o'clock in the morning. And uh, then I'm here till supper time. Closing time is eight o'clock and we're out of here by nine. 61, 60, well, 71, 70. We hold these auctions weekly. We get people from all over. You know, a, a lot of people would love to live in a community like this. The body of Christ given for you. Jesus knew what they did not know. They were not walking the talk. I've, I've been living here for a year and a half, but I'm still in culture shock, trying to adjust to a small town. And I'd love to go back to a big city. You know, I, I, can't I can't just go on my own. I have to have my family to go with me. It always amazes me when I drive around and you see all the crops and you think, where in the world does all this stuff go? Every year, we essentially eat everything we produced. Quite a bit of people know me, yes, because, well, my job here, it's the only grocery store in town. The closest McDonald's in any direction is about an hour and a half away. Young people don't see anything right here. And there really isn't a whole lot for young people. Probably the biggest challenge for any retail store here is that we've got the declining population. We've got to find something that will bring uh, people back to, to our community. For fun, I really just hang out with friends, skate at the skate park we've got built. Today, but you can say that about just about any president. We watch VH1 and MTV, and I wouldn't say that we're isolated from anything really, because we have the internet, and we have cell phones, and we have TV. It's not like we're just stuck out in the middle of nowhere with nothing. It's your football team, it's your season, it's to you do what you want to do. This is the playoffs. This is the playoffs. This is your chapter. Write it how you want it to be written.